Howdy caddies, it's weekly walkabout time at the collector. We're being busy again. We've got another good auction. Fitzroy Lions Ard Mona cards. In their original little plastic wrap, never been opened. Cool little lot. Postcards, playing cards, Peg Maltby. Nice postcards, some nice jewellery. More nice jewellery, big lot of pocket knives. It's pretty wacky old bronze surgical tool. Pretty cool old owner certificate, motor car described here in the uh, government of Victoria. What else have we got? Some little sterling silver sort of sculptural little pieces there of miners on rocks. Lovely old match, a collection of matches in the box over the back there. They're all sort of displayed inside the box. There's a little half sovereign there, little gold half sovereign. Lovely 15 karat gold um, fob there with a big citrine stone. So we've got a nice little Victorian brooch, Marcosite. Unicorn men's watch, little automatic one's a nice bit. Love a little bit of train over the back there as well. Some other nice silver, eastern silver boxes. Good little bits in the jewellery cabinet. Got some cool furniture as well this week. Nice old sort of 1920s, 30s light fitting. Cool pair of sort of Morris style sort of armchairs with the backs that recline. Little lamp there. Kind of like the little, little Victorian style table. It's quite nice on those shaped legs. Pretty cool, the gondola lamp as well with a nice flame shade. Lovely old cedar commode box. It's got nothing inside, thank goodness. There you go, just make, make a nice little storage box. This is pretty cool as well, the old Chinese sort of tea box there. Lovely big sort of sideboard with a big mirrored overmantle on the back. Nice little outdoor table and chair set. Another little outdoor table and chair set. Heaps more light fittings, books. Pretty cool stuff in amongst. Now, so we got some good stereo gear, Yamaha. Little Luxman receiver. Some little outdoor plants and stuff. Reproduction gramophone. Oriental clothing, kimonos. Big box of the ladies' clothes. Pretty china. Heaps of Lego. Box records, cassettes. Heaps of kids' toys. Chinese figures and stuff. More stereo gear, record players, videos, cassettes, etc. More Lego. How's that for a whomping big pair of bellows? They're pretty cool. Photographic and larger there's nice. What else have we got? Big sort of wall unit, sort of locker unit's pretty cool there from the sort of 1970s, give or take. Some nice water pastel paintings here as well. They're all signed. C.R. Uh, Barrett, the centralist sort of outback Australia, the wool shed, bloke there tending his camel, and this is a bit wacky, people on a boat with reclining cattle, or people on the beach with reclining cattle, seen too many cows hanging out on the beach, but anyway, cool little lot of paintings, they're all really nicely done, nicely presented, big boxes of stuff, concrete sort of water features, Signs, chairs, outdoor benches, more outdoor stuff, stereo gear, cases, trunks. What else have we got? Boxes of stuff again. Oh, this little light shade's kind of nice in this group lot with a little screen print there, which is titled Rage Against the Machine. Boxes of EP and S and Dalton, sort of modern Dalton cabinet plates in their phone boxes. Teddy bears and sporting stuff and CDs. Nice big German encyclopedia with nice big colour plates throughout. Boots, books, cutlery, and some heaps more cool stereo gear. Speakers, reel to reel. This is a little ripper. A little JBC, stereo integrated. It's a little component system. These little components separate there sort of stacks up to make a nice little sort of portable cassette deck. Very good quality. Nice little pigeonhole unit. Morant stereo system there with the matching speakers to go with it. Another pair of Rotel speakers up on top that are a separate lot. What else have we got? Nice little sort of spinning chair there to go with a spinning wheel. You get used as hall chairs. And so we've got more stereo gear and pictures, mezzotints and etchings. <coughs> and so we've got more Lego, pottery, chandelier bits, some paintings, china and glass. Little dictaphone, little Edison cylinder dictaphone. Some nice old cast iron claw and ball feet. Some carpentry tools. 
Did some interesting paintings this week. I like this little sort of Australian little street scene there, signed Mackenzie, and dated 77. Nice little thing. This is interesting, little Indian painting, like a view of the Himalayas, which is signed lower left, but it's hard to read the signature. Once again, another interesting little etching, signed again, but hard to read the signature. What you can read is the title, in between. It's like how you can read the title, but not the bloody signature. What else have we got? This is nice little Mark Burton watercolour. Really pretty little watercolour. Looks like a print, but it's a watercolour. This is another C. Uh, Barrett little pencil drawing. Little tribal guy. Pretty cool. This is interesting. Old portrait, portrait oil there of an artist. He's got his sort of paints and his palette and everything. Interesting thing. Frames 1970s. Painting itself about 1900, give or take. No signature. Interesting bit though. Kind of like this Carlos Barrios. Little ink and wash there. Sydney artist. What else we got? And this is a bit interesting. Unsigned. It's about 1940, give or take. Interesting little painting. Little Australian modernist piece there with trees and stuff. Yeah. What else we got? Heaps of cool tools and wrenches and spanners and mystery items. Oil cans and stuff. Little ship's lamp up the top there is quite nice. Little sort of twisted ebony one's nice. Couple of bits of sort of the big gong's pretty cool. Ladies bags and accessories. Some nice little framed oil paintings over the back. Dolls and crystal and glass. Star Wars Lego. More nice glassware. Uh, Star Wars and more nice bottles. Some footy records. Nice Australian Home Journal magazines in here with some cool sort of Fashion illustrations and stuff. Nice little group, lot of blokey gear. Little baker light cigarette light is pretty amazing in that lot. There you go, there's an old double barrel sort of gun down the bottom there as well in pieces. Laser discs. Interesting little lot of china, some cool records. Little Heyman Island, Studio Anavars. Military gear. Here's a good little bit, little mullard amplifier, little valve amp. Nice as well, little Pavoni Italian... Espresso machine, crane, Claris Cliff, China, glass, pretty cool little hand painted sort of panels from the 1970s, some more nice china and pottery, more Lego, Mickey Mouse and his pals, yes, we've got swap cards, pretty china, Limoges, some nice old bottles again, some more cool little dolls, interesting little sort of Bakelite or plastic little case there, looks to be a little radio case or something. The old Esso shop, shock absorber oil tins a ripper, a glass head, Metallica gear, more box Lego stuff. What else have we got? There we go, we should have done that for the What's It Worth this week. The male kangaroo pouch. Other footy gear, batches, novelties. These are wacky, funny tool things. We don't know what they are, which is half the fun. Some great old stickers. Old paint sort of ephemera. What else have we got? Some nice little Australian pottery. Fiona Hose, I think. Hawes, I think. Something like that is the candlesticks. Some Royal Albert and Carlton ware. Japanese stuff. Some Aboriginal stuff over the back. Some more Royal Albert. Another chose. A lovely big uh, continental dinner set. Tea set down the bottom. Nice big engraved brass charger. Weekly Times Annual from 1934 is a ripper. Nice old State Sa Savings Bank of Victoria sign. What else have we got? Lovely little carved picture frame. Interesting engraved silver tray over the back there as well of some missionaries coming to an island. Some interesting decoration around the outside and in the middle. What else have we got? Some old Phantom and other comics. Number 281's pretty early. Some 500's in there as well. Signed little Ken Rosewall photographs. Pretty cool. Some interesting old glass bottles. Cool pair of military binoculars. Little Oz Pottery Shoe, Clog Ashtrays, Shelmar Planter, using a Melrose Mould. This is a nice little Gene King hand-painted little cabinet plate there, Kiwa Hydro Scheme. Some cool stuff at the top shelf, lovely sort of alabaster urn with all the sort of gilded feet and handles and knobs. Nice little bit of Australian art glass, India and I think Colin Simpson. Another little bit of signed art glass, hard to read the signature. Like the little Dyson ink pot. 
Love little uh, McHugh vase. Kind of like these cool little squeaky toys. Little deco style lamps. Nice over the back as well. Just a little bit of Italian glass. Come up, a couple of other bits here to show you quickly. Three little bits of Irish porcelain, the Belique. They're all a little bit damaged, which is a shame. Um, nice little Victorian cups and saucers. Little McIntyre. Sort of Victorian little pottery three piece set. Nice little sort of pewter arts and crafts set there with the candelabra as well. Heaps of jewellery and stuff also. It's going to be a good auction this week, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. You know that I don't really care if you did or if you didn't. We'll see you on Thursday night.